Okay, so let's go through your worksheet and I'm going to show examples of each of these traits so you understand exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Now, the first trait on your worksheet is can you roll your tongue? Okay, I have my wonderful assistant here, Sophia, Hi. who is going to help with this. All right, so let's see if we can roll our tongues. All you do is stick your tongue out and roll it. Sophia and I can both roll our tongues. Yeah. Okay? See if you can. All right, the next is free earlobe. This is a cool one because Sophia and I are different on this one. Um, my earlobe, if you look, it doesn't hang down. It attaches right directly to my head without a little hanging down part of the lobe. But if you look at Sophia's, you can see that there's a little dip before it comes back and attaches to her head. So I have the attached earlobe. Sophia has the free earlobe. Next up is clasping our hands. Ready, Sophia? Let's go. All right, I have my right thumb on top when I clasp. Which one do you have on top? I have the right one on top. All right, we both have right on top. Um, if you're, whichever way you go, try to do it the other way. It feels really strange and uncomfortable yeah. when you do it the other way. Okay, next up is hitchhiker's thumb. All you do is put your thumb straight up in the air. There's this joint right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna try to bend it back as far as you can. Now, I have a really good hitchhiker's thumb. Mine bends back really far. Sophia's bends back a little bit, but not very much. She could probably pick either way on hers because it's kind of in between. Mine is definitely hitchhiker's thumb. If your thumb were staying straight up and you couldn't bend that joint, then that would be a regular thumb. Next up is bend pinky. You're going to take your palms and put them together like so, okay? As you notice, at this joint in my pinky fingers, they're straight. My pinkies don't bend out like that. See how that bent joint? A lot of people have that bent joint. So the, the tips of your pinky fingers would kind of bend away from each other. But mine are straight. How are yours, Sophia? Mine are straight too. Cool. All right, next up is mid-digital hair. If I say mid-digital, you're probably thinking something like electronics, digital. But your fingers are actually called digits. And a mid-digital area is between the top knuckle here and this next knuckle here, okay? So look in this area, look closely. Do you have hair or not? I don't. What about you, Sophia? I don't either. Cool. All right, so those are how you're going to figure out which traits you have to put on your worksheet.